Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? What up? <laughs> what's up? This is what's going on. Let's work channel. My name is Vlad. I'm your host. I don't think I ever said my name before on on the YouTube channel, but my name is Vlad. Are you serious? I swear they, they don't have. They don't. Yourself? They never. They don't know my name. Yo, it's your boy Vlad. <laughs> and this is Mike. Mike Acuna. What's, what's up? up? What's, what's up, on? Mike? How you doing? Good, man. What's that? What's that topic you just we just you just brought up? The what I said? Alpha males. What was that? <clears throat> Oh, that I'm I, I'm such I'm such a beta that I'm an alpha. Yeah, how explain that? Because you were okay. talking about how um, your your some girl was saying that you guys are not compatible because mm-hmm. you don't text her enough. Yeah, and like that's a common complaint I get from mm. chicks is that I don't text enough. Mm. But I notice what I'm saying. I'm I'm such a beta is that like uh, uh, uh like I don't act very masculine. But mm-hmm. I feel like people always adjust to me. I don't adjust to people. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So that's like a, like a, almost like, a, like I'm such a baby. Mm-hmm. Like you're like okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that what's the, which part is the alpha part? For the you? fact that the person is cha- augmenting their behavior to accommodate me, but I'm acting like a baby. Mm. Yeah, it's like I'm such, I'm such a baby, uh, like such okay. a bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you're the one making changes. I'm not doing anything. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so what do you think uh, makes an alpha male? I don't know. I actually don't believe in any of it. Really? But like, yeah. But like, just I just thought it was a, a funny sentence. Yeah. I'm such a beta. That I'm an alpha. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't even. I don't. I don't know. I'm not in that realm. I don't know what uh, being an alpha is. I know people say it a lot. Mm. Uh, I'm sure I've said alpha in in, in my recently probably but i don't i don't i really don't know what it means like if yeah. you're a beta it means what like you like you're a bitch like you're like a cuck uh or you're just you're not masculine yeah well I, like f- from dating like do you think uh all guys get the same opportunities no definitely not and who who's the guys that oh so the, the alpha most? dates all the women that's the the thing Pretty much. I mean, okay. Yeah, because they related. Uh, I, I bet that's probably real. Yeah. yeah because yeah, they yeah. related to the animal kingdom. How, right. Like, right. The strongest, I don't know, lion or whatever gets the most whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. No. That that's that's definitely a thing. Like there's like a there's a pecking order. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's definitely a pecking order. Like uh, s- some some dudes definitely get more women than other dudes that from from that yeah. from a woman's point of view then yeah that 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 is real yeah mm-hmm. yeah so like back in the day do you did you hear about like how like back in the day like when we were cavemen like the alpha guys would get the girls yeah but the yeah. the the beta guys would like jerk off in the woods oh you know what i don't think i actually don't think i ever heard that <laughs> i just was like an animal thing yeah, like that, like, that, like yeah. a lion is like I'm fucking all these yeah, yeah. hoes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then yeah. the other ones are just yeah. like, uh, yeah. I, but they're but they're always plotting against that guy. They like, they always try to test the alpha's gangster. Yeah, yeah, like they'll yeah. just look for like a little sign of weakness, and then yeah, you know, yeah. Pretty much, pretty yeah. much, yeah. You know, I guess what uh. More money, more problems. I guess when you when you're at the top, yeah, you get top, more. People are coming for you. People, people are coming, coming for you. you. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying yeah. like even though the alpha he has the selection of all these girls, he still has like more problems. I don't think he has more problems, but he yeah. should, he should just know that pe- people are gunning for you. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's the animal kingdom. Yeah, yeah it's competitive. What about the betas? The betas out there. What, what do you think about the betas? Or just the analogy of beta. What do you think about that? So by your definition of alpha, beta would just be like somebody that can't get pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Or right. or he's like he doesn't have no like resources, no money. Like he's like like a modern day beta. You don't would need be a. Like, you don't. I don't feel like you need money to get women. No, just in general, not even just like relating. Oh, so there's it. an alpha and beta outside of getting chicks. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, okay. it re- they related to life. So like, because oh, okay. the, the 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 they what they're saying on the internet, they're saying that uh, 
that the chicks are a byproduct of your successful life. So if a man is successful, he's gun like the chicks is just a byproduct. Yeah. So first okay. the success comes. So like whether you have yeah. success in your job, uh-huh. whatever, uh, if you like, if you look good, if you have a, like a nice body or whatever, yeah, yeah. the chicks are gonna come after that. Mm, okay. So the beta, I guess. He's not successful. Like he doesn't have like. So oh, so successful people are alphas. More, more so, more you, so. Do they, you think they, like more uh, so? Uh, you think like a Mark Zuckerberg is an alpha male? That alien robot thing guy. He's an alpha. Ma- he's a male. He's human. I think. I think there's 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 a select few of people that like they have money. Yeah. Right, but they don't. They spend all their like lives like getting money. And stuff like that. So they never really did the pickup and really like groomed on themselves because yeah, they like, worked they probably have thing. A, He probably, I don't know about him, but like he, they're like rich guys. Uh, like you ever go to like a really nice restaurant and you see like some like rich asshole with like a really hot chick and mm-hmm. he looks out of his depth? Like it looks like mm-hmm. the chick is just like, just like taking him for a ride. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like that, is that guy an alpha male, even though he's like successful, quote unquote, has money? He's out. They call him. Uh, <laughs> he's alpha in the business sense. Okay. Yeah. But like when it comes to women, is he's, he's not. He's not. But right, yeah. but he know. He, it's like he sort of knows why the chick is with him for his money. Like I feel like they all know. Like they a, all know. Like yeah. a Mark Zuckerberg, a Bezos. Be- a Bezos I feel like Bezos is probably an alpha male. He probably has yeah. like a Napoleon complex or something. He's but, like a small dude. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. did you see that the um, the video of Leo and him, Le- Leonardo DiCaprio, him and his girl? Oh, that girl is trying to fuck him. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> like <laughs> the way Leo look, the way he she Yo, looked at Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. Yeah, she wanted him. Yeah, bad. bad. Yeah. yeah. So Leo is like an alpha. Like he, Leo is like yeah, well, the typical Leo. alpha yeah. male. Yeah. Like so they say they say, I've heard on the internet that there's no alpha males other than. Leo and Drake are the only alpha males. Oh, really? Because like they a high if, status celebrity. High status. They could get the pick of the litter. They right, could get and right, okay. a lot of resources. You know, so, yeah. so that's what that's what they look at it like. Right. Yeah. It's not shocking though. Yeah. Which it's just kind of sad. As much money as Bezos has. Yeah. His bitch will leave. Like <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Yeah. yeah, he's improved a lot though. If you look at those old pictures when Amazon first started, he yeah, had the love. Yeah, he's yeah. trying to grow a business, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I I respect somebody that used to be dusty at some point and is no longer dusty. Yeah. It shows that you worked. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, what what are your takes on? Uh, Do you trust people that look good all the time? Like every time I see you, you look good. Do I trust who? Guys or girls? Guys. Like every time I see you, like you got like fly shit on, like you're always like, like, you know. It's pro- well, can me- I not see you on an off day? Like, yeah, like wearing tracks or something. Like I don't know. Me back wearing in the day, I would think like he was successful, but but now I, I would think like he's not. He's broke. If I see a guy always dressing nice. Yeah, you would think they're broke, right? Yeah, yeah it's like, dude, I need to catch you like on an off day. Yeah, because yeah. those real millionaires, like, they just wear just put like, some shit on flip flops and they got millions in the bank. I, I, maybe it's a New York thing. I don't know, yeah. man. But like, there's a real pressure to always be fly. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot always be fly. You, you will you will catch me on an off day, dude. I need it. I need it. Keeping up with the Joneses. That's real. It seems like it. Yeah. But no, I need I, I enjoy like I like putting on whatever the hell on I have on in my house and just, like, going outside and, like, buying, like, jube jubes or whatever the hell. Jube jubes? Yeah, with some candy. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. Some, like, some people look too good sometimes. Like, every time I see you, you look great. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> tell them tell what you do. Tell them what you, like, what you do. Mike's a, I'll, I'll, I'll introduce it. Mike's a comedian, New York City comedian. He's from, what part of um, Canada are you from? I'm from Mississauga, Ontario. You could say Toronto, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I just yeah. put him in there. You just commit, commit. Well, you didn't get your social media up, right? You trying to get your social up? I, I, I am trying. I, I have my Instagram now, but I don't post anything on it. Yeah. But I will eventually. Yeah. yeah. 
we're gonna try to make this as consistent as possibly we can yeah. as as much as we can yeah. we got a lot of interesting s- things to talk about you know because <laughs> i feel like me and mike uh we we really connect we're really good friends but some topics you know we 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 have opposite opinions yeah, we're like opposites <laughs> that's probably why we're friends <laughs> yeah yeah all right so beta males oh that was a good question so the the millionaires out there the people that have money they're they they would be considered alpha males to you or not well like i don't i'm i'm kind of learning on the fly apologies but like uh so you're saying that there's an alpha male if, as far as like uh somebody that's successful right like some, or somebody that gets women like from a, a getting women's point of view an alpha male is just a guy that gets all the women but then you're saying that there's like a uh, 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 another aspect of it, which is like being uh, uh, successful, like a business aspect. Like, so you can be alpha in like different mm-hmm. realms. Yeah. Right. So you that uh, so the the same would be true for a beta. It's like you're a beta in this realm, but you're not like a beta all all round, right? Or or am I wrong? No. Yeah. That's 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 right. Like a beta could be um, he could be beta in his business i think i think i don't know i think it's tough because w- i think for a guy like if you're successful in one you is going to translate over to, some, to a certain degree so I, I like say this all right so a beta he's beta in his business but he gets a lot of women is he beta to you like you know you've seen those alpha chads guys he's ripped six pack He's handsome, long hair. He's uh-huh. broke. He don't have money, but he gets a lot of women every time he go to the club. He's easy. He 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 has his pick of the litter because he okay. looks good. He's yeah. six two, six three, yeah, chiseled. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, is he a beta? He's good at picking up women, so no, he's not a beta. Like, like, like. Yeah. But there's, uh, I don't like saying yes or no because. You're saying that you can be a beta in other aspects of your life. Like he's, you're saying he's not, uh, uh, maybe like, uh, successful career wise, but he might get a lot of women, but he's not successful career wise. Does that make him a beta or alpha? Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think it's easier for him to like maybe make that transition to business than it will be. E- then it would be easier to for like Bezos to be good with women. Oh, because he's just like uh, yeah. why? Because he's like handsome and good looking. He's handsome and good looking, and he has that like experience with girls uh, attracted to him. You know, like Bezos. Wait, so do you think getting women helps you in like your career? Yeah. Why? Why? How? Well, it, well it, the confidence in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, like I, I <laughs> really like. You have confidence in like this merger and acquisition because I fuck a lot of bitches. Like I, that's why it's gonna happen. Yeah. We're gonna buy this company because I fuck. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> if a girl, if if you walk down the street and girls are looking at you constantly, you're gonna think you could do anything. You're gonna think you could like you he that like that alpha chat. It, it, it probably about. feels good. It definitely feels flattering to know that uh, you're desirable like that. Yeah. Uh, like that alpha Chad, he's probably just not uh he's probably just not motivated in the business, but he probably could if I want if he wants to. I mean, hey, what why He not? could be just dumb. <laughs> yeah, he, he could, could be. be dumb. He could be. Could be dumb. He could be. Yeah. Uh, that's another aspect. Uh do you think the handsome dudes are dumb per se or are they just comfortable? Cuz that's what they're saying that other people like Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg, they said they never really got that attention from women so that's why they put like all fuel there they, they was like i gotta be rich because if i'm not rich i don't know I'm if it's not. about a i don't i don't i don't think i don't think that no i don't think that i think successful people are successful not because they're trying to get women i think they're successful because uh they have like a vision of what they want their life to be like, and mm. they don't compromise on it. That's what makes a successful person. Mm. So you don't think women have any type of thing to do with it? It's like a byproduct of that kind mm. of thinking. There was a book called The Selfish Gene. You ever read that? A selfish Gene? Yeah. No. I forgot who wrote it, but he basically explained that everything a man does is it's for pussy. Pretty much. Um, to a certain degree. 
I mean, maybe I don't know. I I I just think about well, like honestly, think about this. Like, uh, let's say you're like a professional athlete or like a businessman or something. Like you're getting started. Mm -hmm. It takes like a, a a high level of dedication. Like even with like even with stand up, it takes like a, a high level of dedication to get good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, like it takes like this is the uh, it takes a laser focus. Uh, I feel like if you don't have that, you won't be successful. Mm -hmm. And when and if you have that, you will be successful. And success just brings women in your life. Like that's just that's just the fact. If you're successful, women will be around. But I don't think that's the motivator for wanting to be successful. It might be like it might be like uh, one of the factors, but it, it's definitely not the main factor. There's no way because even as I get older, the more I want to accomplish things, the more I actually find I find women distracting. Mm. That's why I kind of want a girlfriend, but I'm realizing too that that too is extra work. Mm. Like it's like ah. Uh, um, I remember I was, I was talking to a comic that's like a, a bit more ahead of me. And uh, we we're at, he was about to perform at this show. And there are like so many beautiful women at this show. Mm -hmm. And like one woman like walked past us. And I did like the obvious like thing where I checked her out. And I saw his face when he looked at me. He's like, bro, do you want to make it or not? <laughs> like, are you distracted by, by women? Yeah. And that's the right mentality. That is. That yeah. Is. Like, that guy clearly doesn't think about pussy like that. He's mm -hmm. thinking about like, Whatever he sees, whatever his vision in for his life, that's that's his motivator. It's not pussy. He knows yeah. that'll come too. <laughs> but it's like, no, this is what I, I'm chasing something that is like really important to me, or I really want to see this thing pan out. The woman, the women will come. Yeah, um, I don't like I, dudes I, that I, chase pussy. By the way, that's 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 lame. Yeah, yeah. If you're like super horny and down bad, I get it. But if that's just what like your everyday life, like find something worth like. There's so much to life than just like chasing pussy, yeah. right? Didn't uh, Eddie Murphy like they? He explained on a special. That he, didn't he was like, uh, you know, the reason I started comedy for, was for to, to get, get to get pussy. Yeah, really. He started like, he what, said like that 15? in like deli deliriousism at 15. That that would make sense at 15 years old. Yeah. I spoke to comics too that said, "Oh, they're I mean, mad comics that do comedy to get pussy." I think it's a big factor. I mean, if you like, we talked about it before. You take away, if it was just guys on Earth, right? <laughs> None of us would be doing stand-up comedy right. performing oh, for all, other only guys. For men. Only guys, <laughs> only guys performing for each other. Making men laugh. None of us would do <laughs> stand-up comedy. We'll be slobs, man. We uh. wouldn't be working out. We wouldn't be doing anything. Uh, maybe the working out thing I can agree with with the stand up I I I disagree. We'll probably be telling jokes, but we wouldn't be out every night at the clubs. No, and, no, I just I totally disagree. Unless unless like totally month, unless like they're paying a top dollar for it, but they're not paying top dollar I, for. I, I, no, I don't new, agree with that. You don't, don't agree with that? No, no absolutely. So not. you think uh, uh, all men? Not all still, men. No, but like, no, like, don't get me wrong. There are dudes that are in this shit to get pussy. That's a, well, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. I, I had somebody once tell me not to say a joke. Yeah. Because like, if you say that joke, you're not gonna get any pussy. Yeah. I was like, oh, I can't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not friends. <laughs> well, I think there's there's nothing wrong with uh, trying to get girls out of it as uh, out of uh, something out of it, like something. It's I, can't, like, I, I, I I mean, yeah, whatever motivates you motivates you, but I find it a bit uh, alarming that that's your main motivator to do this yeah. shit. Cause like I get I get so much out of doing it. Other than that, yeah. And then you're like not even like, I just yeah. It's just like you're just missing out. Yeah. yeah. Well, not the main motivator. Yeah. Like uh um, a, like a part. Like the other one would probably be like fame or notoriety, being famous. That's a big one too. You don't think so? And all of that leads I'm, towards girls. Im imagine <laughs> this though. Like imagine you're talking to somebody and you're like, would you rather um have an okay set but say a joke that makes a bunch of women want to fuck you or mm -hmm. destroy but they might not want to have sex with you after because of the shit you said mm. whoever like based on that answer i kind of like you know like 
I would rather kill doing saying some shit that's like really honest and like really an expression of myself and maybe not get pussy than say some like sex joke and like some chicks like oh oh you really do that in bed I'm like oh yeah <laughs> yeah I do yeah like no I don't nah. Well, I think not if you me. kill, if you kill, you should get pussy if you kill. You're gonna, is that but not all, not necessarily. No, there's some jokes that are funny, but it's like TMI. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> it's like, oh jeez, I Please. would, yeah. I would, but no. <laughs> yeah. Most of those, uh, uh, the most of the audience. Oh, you can close that. Most of the audience is uh, women. is women anyway. So if you kill, I mean, it's most likely in front of a bunch of women. Unless, Usually. like, you're in jail or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That is true. So that's basically what I'm trying to say. Like, if you were, n- the women are not here, you'll be performing in jail, man. Yeah, it'd be a prison, <laughs> yeah, a prison. Well, like, yeah, but, like, uh, I just got into it for so many other reasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why I, I have my opinion about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. So we were talking about getting girls is a byproduct i think that anything a man does is they're thinking about that they're thinking about think about pussy like every seven seconds or something yeah i think if you're honest you'll be like i know if i'm a successful comedian i would like i know uh, i know it will happen but it's not a motivator that's my point it's not it it really isn't hmm. it really isn't so if you if you An could be successful, God. if you could be a successful comedian, yeah, and you you wouldn't, and somebody said no, you're successful, I'm gonna give you two million dollars, but no girls at all, none like for how long? Two million dollars for not your that for much the, money. Well, well, let's say your your dream amount. I don't know what is okay. it. What is it? More than that. <laughs> all right, ten million. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah. All right, a hundred million, whatever, a hundred, two hundred million, whatever. How much? Two hundred million. And but never, never have sex. You no girls. Like uh, every I, time I, the girls come in the room, they send them. Like the all my fans are just a bunch of dudes. <laughs> they, you know, you got you have female friends, but you just can't. You just can't have sex with no no girls. You just can't like at my shows or that, like in at life like as, at all. No, as far as like uh, anything related to comedy. So your fame. Like I can't get. I uh, I can't ever yeah. have sex with somebody that know, that, that knows. has seen my has seen my act. Yeah, that that's related to comedy that you got from a show or. Like, seen oh, I saw your act. act. I love this. It, and that. I it has to be raw. It has to be raw. It has to be raw. Like in Tinder, they don't know who you are. Okay. Yeah, you have to get your own girls. It's not gonna be like no affiliation, like. But I still get to live the lifestyle that I'm working towards. You just get comedy, just the money and the whatever. You would still do it? If I'm getting paid the as much as I want to per show. Yeah. You wouldn't even Yeah, get, yeah, I would. I would. I would, I would I would I would I would take that deal. You would take that deal? Yeah, I would. Mm-hmm. I would. And I know I know I know I'm not just talking shit. Because yeah. I've turned down pussy to do comedy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This video ain't gonna be monetized. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Because uh, the p word. And oh, I can't say pussy. You could say it, but it just don't. It just, won't, it just won't be monetized. I think I'm so worse. What's the YouTube words? Is uh, that p? Yeah, I think that one. I think that's yeah. I think that's pretty much it. No, you can't I say think the you, R I think word. you could say. Sh- I think you could. You could curse. say. You could say curse. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. YouTube is like weird with words. It's like you could say like. <laughs> I don't know. You can say certain words, but then other words you can't really say. Policing. Oh, yeah. Don't police us. Yo, yo. What up? What up? Let's what work up? channel. Host Vlad. Mike Acuna. What's we up? are here talking about our podcast. We're just like a podcast. This is like a small, like a small podcast. We're going to be trying to do this on a regular basis. So let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. Nicki Minaj called Fresh and Fit clowns on the Joe Budden podcast. You said you saw it, right? I saw it on my way here. What would you think? On the train. Uh, I think she was saying like like uh, people that like uh, uh, rate like if you, she she said something like if you rate 
men or women if, if men rate women like on the number scale like one to ten mm -hmm. it's like if you do that like you're like a piece of shit kind of mm. thing um that's that's the one thing i remember her saying um what the fuck oh was she mad about them like dissing black uh chicks or something was that part of her beef i i'm honestly blanking on it it was uh we could watch it real quick. Let me see. Yeah, let's watch it. Yeah, hey, let me see. Because uh, she never really said their names. She was just, like, mad at things that you would associate with those guys. I'm not sure if it's going to play. Which, by the way, we need to talk about these niggas, too, after. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, don't play this. It's a minute forty. It's probably gonna be sped up. No, of course it is. Oh. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Yeah. talk shit about her or is she just wild and it like uh i don't think they talked anything about her i think joe Putin just had this podcast and they were promoting the podcast like the conversation with her oh so and then she brought that up during like a like ig live uh-huh she brought their name like gotcha their name gotcha yeah. all right that's some good pr so, makes sense yeah, yeah I, I, it seems like uh those guys get a lot of shit for like hating on black women Cause one time they they said it. They, like they, said, they, they don't said date like, Shaniquas and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that? that's fucked up actually. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I can't say fucked up, can I? No, you can say. Oh that. Yeah? yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's 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 not that's not cool. Yeah. If you're black, you can, you shouldn't talk like that. Although you don't date they Shaniquas, you just say you don't date black women. Yeah. I don't mind that they don't date black women. I think everybody's entitled to like a preference. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't even understand how we can entertain the fact that people don't have preferences. Like you can, yeah. you can have that. Yeah. Yeah. But like, uh, I just don't like the way they, you can tell the way they went about saying that kind of proves Nicki Minaj's point that they're probably like salty or bitter. Like some, some black woman probably said something to them and like, Oh, you're Shaniqua. Like you, like I'm better than you. You can't talk to me like that. Like you know, just like overcompensating for the fact that some black woman found them inadequate in some way. So mm. this is how they respond to it. I, it you, you could see a lot of emotion there. It wasn't like, yeah, it seemed a little bit childish. So you think they yeah. were doing it for real? Like, like it came they, from a place of hurt. It seemed like it did. Yeah, mm. we don't, we don't date Shaniquas. Like who, mm. like who talks like what kind of black person talks like that? Well, no. Although I saw the video in the studio, they and they tried to defend it. They said that it was a, it was a joke, and the people in the studio were laughing. They so don't like, date Shaniquas. No, that, it was that, like an inside joke. Oh, it, so it was, was an inside joke before. No, it was a was joke. That a in the, no, it was a joke in the in the podcast, and right. they were laughing and joking about it. So right, it was, right. It was a, it was funny to them. Yeah, it made sense in that context. Like, yeah. they, are you saying that they wouldn't, they would not have said it otherwise if there was not some background context? Yeah, yeah, and I think what made it worse is 
how they defended it probably like because they went on andrew schultz podcast after okay yeah and andrew schultz and his boys confronted them about it and uh -huh. the way they answered was kind of like like they wasn't kind of taking accountability for it so okay. that's why that's when it kind of like blew up a little bit more like oh these guys are clowns like mm -hmm. she was saying mm -hmm. you know so here's the thing like um I'm not mad at them for having their preferences. I just think they should, like, they're black, yeah. right? Like, they probably have, like, black m mothers, mm -hmm. right? So, like, they should just, I feel like they should just be, it'd be smarter for them to be a bit more respectful when they're talking about black women if if they were just referencing like some like some other conversation where Shaniqua was said and that's mm -hmm. why they said it i'm not mad at that they're just trying to be funny mm -hmm. I, I i get i get that but if that's how they actually talk outside of that context then that's a little bit it's like self-hating type shit yeah. but i will say this though is um I don't like the one-sidedness of this type of uh, uh, conversation, though. Like, everybody's entitled to their preference. Like, if you like black chicks and you're a white guy, that's your preference and vice versa. Like, mm -hmm. everybody's entitled to a preference. And you shouldn't get mad that somebody doesn't date black women. That shouldn't... That Because sh I notice... Um, uh, I used to have a joke that I only date, like, fat black chicks. I'm black. Like, it's kind of hacky. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, uh, black women really hated that joke. Okay. Yeah. It's like, you can't, you can't be mad at somebody cause they have a preference. That's weird. Yeah. I just so, like this. hold it like this. No, a little lower. 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 Yeah. They're like, that's why. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well you, you can, you can have a preference though. Like I, I, I don't, I don't know why that's like, uh, if a black guy doesn't date black women, that per that guy is like vilified. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, don't I don't like that. Yeah, that's true. My, my thing is like, was Nicki Minaj even talking about that specific video? Cause she kind of just said, she kind of just said the fresh and fit guy or whatever. She didn't even say her name, but she, she didn't say said, their names. Yeah. Yeah. She was just like those clowns on the podcast. Right. If right. you talk, she said, if you're talking bad about black women, then blah blah. You shouldn't blah blah. That's like if you're talking bad about black women. But like there's other people that what about Kevin Samuels? Kevin Samuels, he he was uh labeled somebody who talks about black women. What does he say about black women? But not not even just like black women is like uh um, he like shits on he like, he'll call you out on your bullshit, it seems like. Yeah. So yeah. and so that's what the fresh fresh and fit guys are talking about. That like they talk about everybody. That's another thing. That is say they talk about everything, everybody, just like Kevin Samuels talks about everybody. So why is it this one thing? that everybody's stuck on and 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 it's almost like at what point do you like just apologize for everything like joe rogan or uh, anybody else or you just like accept it and you know it just stand for what you said they need in this cancel culture it would be in their best interest to double down on everything they're doing because it's working out for them the day they start apologizing for their shit is is not a good sign yeah. yeah. So yeah, like they should double down. I don't I don't agree with like a lot of the things they say, but if they if they like reneged on anything they said, I would like lose more respect for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, so, they, I, yeah, especially in this cancel culture, they cancel you for every, pretty yeah. much everything now. Yeah. It's like at what point do cuz I heard Kevin Samuel say that it was like, I mean, at what point do you just say do you apologize for everything or you just accept what you did? No, you, man, you got to stand by something. You got to stand by something. You got to stand for, like, yeah. Like, even if it yeah. it's, might not be popular, but you got to, like, if, if it's honest to you, then stand by it for sure. Yeah. I, I just, again, I, I, back to my point, though, like, I don't like this whole one, like, uh, let me ask you a question. Like, uh, uh, as, let's say there's a, 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 a dude, a white dude, that only dates white women. Mm -hmm. Does that make him a bad person that he doesn't date outside of his race? No. Okay. Now, there's a white dude that dates only black women. Is he like a culture vulture? Like, what is he, or is he just a guy that happens to like black women? 
I think being that black women are the minority, he's gonna get more flack from the the culture, black women and black people, as because we're, black people are the minority. Like black men might shit on him. Yeah, he's gonna get my, everybody's gonna everybody's really? gonna shit on a, a, everybody. Really? Everybody's gonna get at him. Like everybody's gonna have something to say. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he goes on social media. I think that's the thing, too. Social media and the media in general, like, exaggerates everything. You know what I'm saying? If he goes, if he just does it underneath the closet and doesn't say anything, but if he posts a picture with a black girl, like, listen, I only date black. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's over for him. Really? But why? (laughs) That's his preference. There's nothing wrong with what he just, with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's, 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 I think it's just very different. Because first of all, he's even though he's a white guy, he's still a guy. So like a black girl doing that with a white guy saying that listen, I date white white men, it's not gonna get that much flack. Even a white girl saying that, oh, I only date black men, that's actually good. <laughs> but a, but a black but a black uh, a white the vice versa because we live in a double standard society. Like men yeah. get treated differently. Yeah. He's anything negative, anything that doesn't show that majority of everybody like inclusive is gonna get some flack. You don't think so? It just I find it weird. Like, uh, if if some guys like, oh, I date, I don't care about race or looks. Like, I just date anybody if I like you. And then some guys like, oh no, I only date like I only date like hot black women. <laughs> like that, that guy's a bad. That guy's a bad guy. Yeah. I don't. I don't get it's a double standard because like the, double the, standard. the opposite is true. Like imagine like uh okay or or, or like okay if, uh, great great example. Like I'm a short guy, right? Mm-hmm. Uh on these apps I see girls always saying like if you're if you're below six feet, like don't even bother. Okay. Like why is that like that's okay, like no you don't hear guys like really complaining about that shit. We're like, yeah, that's your preference. Do you? Yeah, so then, like, but the, the the double standard when we do it is, like... Can't do it. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, so that's, that's I guess that's why, I like, to Fresher Fitz's point of view, that's how they feel on certain topics. Yeah. Like, how come they get to say, everybody get, else get to say all of this stuff? Like, like oh, women can have be, preferences. Yeah, you got to be six feet. Yeah. Six figures. They have preferences. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're very once, open about it. Yeah, but yeah. once you say something, it's like... It's like oh, you have to be hot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you should like, look good. <laughs> yeah, it's like, shut up. Like, shut, go in your closet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't like overweight yeah. women. You're like, oh, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, yeah. It's weird. It's it seems like it's it's socially acceptable for, uh, yeah, for chicks to have preferences, like very open about their preferences. But guys, we we have to be quiet about you ours. Be quiet, yeah. Yeah, I find that a little bit uh, a little bit funny. But yeah, like I mean, I'm not I'm not like angry about. It. I just find it yeah. a little bit weird. So that's yeah. another reason why Fresh and Fit is blowing up because they 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 are speaking to the guy, uh-huh. that is sh- that is shushed. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, mm. I, I, like, uh, how many platforms do you know? I mean, we're talking about it now, but how many platforms that you know that guys are openly able to talk about things like this without without getting uh, ridiculed? I feel like people will probably talk shit about even this conversation. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though, like, I feel like again, bias. We're friends, but I feel like what we're saying is like we're. I think we're trying to be like kind of reasonable about what we're talking about yeah. but somebody will find a way to you know yeah. label this as something yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah well where can we talk about it like where 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 is it acceptable to talk about it it's not at all every anywhere like you know yeah it's like the current climate uh yeah because i mean uh cis being just a cisgendered male is like a a, a bad thing yeah, yeah. Cisgendered, yeah. like being born, like you were biologically born oh, a man. Okay. To, Once you're like a man, <laughs> people just yeah. don't fuck with it. I mean, I know whatever, man. I guess men have been shitty in in in, in history, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. So it's, people I think just it's, fucking hate dudes. Yeah. Yeah. And people hate, but like, but on the flip side is true though. Uh, people, there are a lot of dudes that really hate women too. Yeah, like uh, have a very unhealthy relationship with women. That's that is also true. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I think it's I think it's really tough to hate 
Oh. No, there are dudes that hate women. Yeah. Yeah. Like like who? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking blow up somebody's spot. No, like explain. But like, but like, like they're they're like, uh, isn't that why people hate incels? Cause like they like hate women, cause they can't get pussy, so or they can't have sex, so like they can't like people they like, they, the way they talk about women comes from a place of like oh, you weren't gonna have sex with me anyway, so fuck you. Like I'm gonna just like. You know what I mean? Like there are people that have really unhealthy relationships with women. The way they talk about women seems kind of uh it comes from a place of uh yeah, they don't like them. They feel like they're the enemy or mm. something. Yeah. Do you think they hate women or they hate the game? They probably hate the game. The game. Cuz they want the they want they want to have sex with women. Because the incels are not even if you if you if you go by the numbers well, I don't know the specific um, numbers, but <laughs> but incels are just in their house. They're not even playing the game. They're not no, but going isn't, out. Isn't, on uh, isn't uh, involuntary means that they're they're like they want to have sex. They want to, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but they're just like not even trying to have they're sex. They're not even trying. They're not even giving it. They're not even in the game. Yeah, but they, they shouldn't even talk about women then. Well, is, is there some dude that isn't yeah. trying to have sex mm -hmm. that has all? He has everything to say about chicks, mm -hmm. but doesn't relate with them, doesn't date them. He 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 really doesn't have a point. He he's not part of the conversation. A person mm -hmm. like that shouldn't ever talk about women because he doesn't really understand women. Mm -hmm. He's never been with a woman. Like, he doesn't understand what it's like to like be in a relationship with a woman. He doesn't really know how they are. All all, all the knowledge is is YouTube or something. Like you know what I mean? It's like you, you're not part of the. You're not even. You're not you're not doing this. You you, you don't yeah. your opinion doesn't count. Yeah. What well, my my question to you is like, what percentage you think is like, uh, they they actually talking about women or the game? So like, say like for you, like you're a shorter guy. Mm -hmm. There was a com uh, I don't know if he was a comedian, but he was like a short guy, um, Bob's Burt Bagels guy. I don't know if you mm -hmm. just look him up, but the the guy uh, there was this short guy. I forgot where he was from, but he he went viral because he he was drunk and he was yelling at a bunch of girls at the club, saying that. They they're not gonna date them and they why they, like yelling at them like why you hate short guys oh yeah like, uh, yeah so he's yeah. a short guy yeah like, he was like drunk and yelling at them and stuff yeah. like that yeah but what there's a big difference between from my point point of view like him and you like you know you're not complaining you're working I'm not an angry on, person yeah you're no. not angry you're working on yourself you're getting better and you don't have that problem. With, with with girls the same well especially well, I, to the same degree so. yeah like uh, first of all the club is not a place if you're a short guy don't go to the club unless you have money <laughs> like you're just gonna look lame unless you know a lot of people there or you can get a like a bottle service or like a booth you're just looking weird unless you're going with like a like a crew of people that you know you're gonna like be dancing with a bunch of girls there when you get there if you're just going there like by yourself, doloed and trying to get pussy, you're gonna look weird. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You look weird. It's not for it's not for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what do you think that guy was problem was? You think he was? Yeah, it's a game. The like game, you said, it's a the game. game. He doesn't. He he. I think the the issue. Again, I'm not. I'm kind of removed from this because, like, I'm not like. Uh, I don't chase pussy like I do. Like I, I kind of just like if it comes, it comes. Like mm -hmm. I, I have like my like my dreams to pursue. Uh, but uh, like, but like if uh, I think d some men are just not willing. They know that they 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 should be doing certain things. Like if they did, if they applied these things, they would be less miserable. They would they would get women, but they're unwilling to do these things mm -hmm. and that's why they're not getting women and the reverse is true is that w there are certain women that should do certain things mm -hmm. to get men or to keep a man mm -hmm. or to be desired by a man mm -hmm. and they're not doing that and they're angry that men don't want them but they're not willing to do the things to get what it, it, it's just people it's like two people they're just not not willing they know what they're supposed to do and they're not doing it and they're angry it's like being a, a, a sore loser because you didn't train hard enough or you didn't you didn't it's like failing a test and and you didn't you never studied or try it's like failing a test and being mad even though you didn't go to the exam mm. you even try why do you think why do you think they're not trying i don't know maybe they uh, the some question. some people might feel and i used to feel this way too 
to be fair. I used to feel like, um, uh, like, yeah. why if 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 I'm like being genuine, if I'm being myself, if I'm being true to me, mm-hmm. then why, why like I then I, sh- I should desert like a woman should like me for doing that, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of naive. That's kind of naive. Like, don't get me wrong. I am myself, like, pretty much all the time. Mm-hmm. But, like, if there's a woman that I really like, I'm going to, l- like, let her know, hey, these are my redeeming qualities. This is what you get with being with me. Mm-hmm. Like, let, make sure you know that. I wouldn't just be like, oh, you know, whatever. Like, you know, you got to – yeah, you can't just be, a, like, dusty and then want a really, like, great woman. But well, that's know. what they teach you in the Disney movie. They teach you that you could just be yourself and you could get the girl. No, that's not. That's not. Unless yourself is. If uh, except you're actually dope. If you're dope, then you have no no issues. But if you're not, then work on yourself. Mm. Yeah. Some what? people are dope and they can just be themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think these guys are not working on themselves? Like uh, the laziness. You, yeah. Internet. Internet. Porn. So today's. Uh, you can find. Back in the day, you did not have uh, something to to accommodate for you not accomplishing or doing these things. Mm-hmm. Like uh, we live in in in, uh, in a world now where you can really substitute. You can find a replacement for these things. What do you mean? Like if you can't get women, you can watch a lot of porn. Oh. You can get like one of those devices and gratify yeah. yourself yeah you can just replace not do you don't have to do that now yeah. it's it's easier now than before that's why people are, are not doing it now mm. the p words like you can live, live in your own world now really you wow. really don't have to engage in the world if you don't okay. want to virtual reality yeah, 3D. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, okay. can just, you can just isolate yourself in like some sort of your own reality Mm. Yeah, that's why people aren't doing it. The, yeah, the P word is one of the um, the words that the demonetized words just to let you know. P P O R N. Oh really? Yeah, yeah it's, oh, one, it's one bad. of those words. It's all it's all good. What was gonna ask? Uh, X-rated movies. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Dang, I had a question. I completely blanked out because I was <laughs> getting the P word out. My but bad. uh, that um. Damn, I'm trying to think of it now. Yeah, I hate when that happens. You ever hate when that well, What are we talking about? We're talking about why people don't uh, yeah. do what they're supposed like, why there are men that are frustrated and women that are kind of frustrated too. Yeah. Yeah, like why Why don't they just try? Yeah. Uh, well, oh, yeah, yeah that's why I, I, I remember. It. Uh, there was a, a thing that is, is, is um, a study that's saying that like today, like modern day men today are like, a lot of them are virgins until they're 30 and yeah, they're actually I like, that. like our, our SEX, we're having less yeah, yeah, SEX yeah, yeah, yeah. than ever before than ever before in yep. history. Yep. 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 What do you think about that? I mean, yeah, it's not surprising. No. Based on what we just said, right? <laughs> like you don't, you don't have to do that stuff now. You can just live in your own world hmm. and do accommodate for not doing those things by seeking pleasure elsewhere. Like it's so, mm. it's just so easy to do that now. Mm. And uh, on the flip side, for women, is uh, seems like um, there are there are fem cells. I I I I I heard, man. I went to like a bunch of like open mics in Brooklyn. It's like all these like new Brooklyn girl comics like are not having sex either. Mm. It's like I think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fem cells? Yeah, they're fem cells. What? Is, yeah, I, 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 was, deeper. I, was I never heard of this. Open mic in Brooklyn, and some chick was like, "Yeah, I'm a fem cell. Like, I don't have sex." Mm. I was like, "Oh, cool." And what? What was the reason behind that? Because, like, uh, I don't know. I I don't know. I just I just find it interesting. I find it cool. If because if a dude is like an like it's not it's not cool to be an incel. Like you 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 can't get you can't have sex. I feel like. A, w- a woman can have sex even if she's like not attractive she can still have sex yeah. so if she's if she's not having sex it just means she's like she's like a 
she's like a kind of weird that's just different that's like a mm. different kind of weird it's like kind of mm. cool it's like yeah. you're just you're crazy yeah yeah you're you're just you're crazy <laughs> i find that so interesting <laughs> so she's she's is she a feminist i have no idea i don't know this lady i just heard the i heard i heard i've heard that phrase like repeatedly in these in these rooms so i'm like oh this is interesting so what do you what do you think like so so if she's like crazy she's that crazy enough like what what kind of crazy because like you said she could have it anytime she wants like what kind of crazy do you think i she- don't know that's why like, I, I really don't know what would make a woman become that but maybe it's the same thing that would make a man become that is that just so you can live in your own world but yeah i don't know because usually crazy chicks are good at sex yeah yeah <laughs> but these ones are crazy and they don't do it it's like hmm, this is different <laughs> yeah 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 I, I, wonder, I found it very interesting do you think like uh her being a feminist plays a part i have no idea i don't know these people maybe maybe because like um they're saying on the internet that uh if you like a, a woman pursuing her career she can't really do both she can she could do she could do the career she has to pick you like mean being a mother or having sex you can have sex you can have sex but like like women don't work like that they have to be emotionally uh, like uh, involved with somebody so right. to folk they have yeah okay. if they're, they're they're focusing on their career they're focusing on their career it takes away the other stuff the what? relationship uh you know if they want to have a yeah. family and yeah, all of this yeah, so. yeah, yeah so that's why they say like well you see it on well i don't know the statistics like my, like uh, a working woman mm-hmm. is more natural for her to be like uh, working until like maybe in her 30s and not and be not have no no children. Mm-hmm. So do you think like that plays a part like in today's like society of like it's like you're saying that are these women fem cells because they want to focus on their careers? No, 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 absolutely not. <laughs> no. There's no, there's no there's no you don't think there's if any you're some like. uh barista open mic chick yeah you can have sex yeah <laughs> you're not working that hard what does it you're work probably just crazy <laughs> what does it work for i feel like it's different for girls because they got to be emotionally attached to the guy guys could just yeah, go some, out and but like even this. after like many many a months a woman turns into a dude oh, yeah? like, i just want to i just want to get wrecked you think so <laughs> yeah yeah mm. But even still, you think they will still just go out and just try to yeah, do it? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah? I've seen it. <laughs> I was with some girl. Uh, we're not, like, I'm not attracted to her. We're both not attracted to each other. And uh, I'm like, what do you want to do tonight? She's like, I want to get I want to get wrecked. I'm like, hey, let's go to, let's go to a, like, a bar. We went to a bar. She was just, just looking for choosers. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it, was, uh, it had been, it'd been so long for her. Mm. So long. So she's yeah. like, yeah, I just, I just need it. I need it. Yeah. yeah. After a while, they turn into us. Oh, usually, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're active, at least if they're sexually active. If you're not, though, you probably turn into like, like if you, uh, yeah. If you like don't ever have sex as a, as a woman, like ever, yeah. and you're like in your like mid twenties, thirties. I don't know. I I I find, I find that so interesting. That's like yeah. not. You're not even like, you're not a normal person. It's like it's like it's like seeing like a. I don't know, like an exotic, not even an exotic animal, like just like a deer, you know, you're like, yeah. oh my fuck, like, oh my God, like, like, what is that, <laughs> you know, like I've heard about it, but I've never seen it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, just, it was, it was interesting. I find them interesting. Mm, yeah. That's true. I think I might have to pause this one. It's almost. Confront you about how I think you love these guys. Okay, go ahead. Talk to me. That's on. That's the reason, that's the main reason I came here. We haven't even talked Why? about it yet. Good. I, you're, you, you're like a a closeted fresh and fit fan. I don't know if it's closeted. Like you, you like these niggas, bro. <laughs> you know what? I I do like fresh and fit. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But it, f- for me, I actually was following fresh and fit like before they got popping off. Like I I think I subscribed to them when they had like maybe forty thousand subscribers or oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in the beginning. So I mean, I I told you I enjoy like. Do I agree on every point that they make, like as 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 God gold? No, I don't. Mm-hmm. But I do like 
like the setup on the podcast because you know we're doing a podcast right now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but i do like the display of their podcast like they got the chairs yeah the room looks nice yeah they, they room they looks nice they invest cameras yeah. they got the setup the yeah. live yeah. they got the t-shirts the hoodies i mean yeah. you got it as an entrepreneur you know i respect, respect the game it. i respect you the game respect. i respect their hustle i respect that absolutely yeah absolutely i just think a lot of the things they say it's like half true. I feel like it's like half true. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's I, like it's like it's not half true. It's not thorough. What's like, half I feel like they're. I just feel like some of the things they say is like pandering to like. Uh, that's why I was surprised that you liked them so much. Mm. Like you're a handsome guy. You can get you can get ladies. <laughs> I feel like they're pandering to dudes that can't like at all. Like they have like dudes that have no idea. So all right, so let's say they are. Let's say they are pandering towards yeah. dudes that uh like dudes that kind of and also dudes that kind of low key hate chicks. Okay. Like I think all it's right. feeding a lot of YouTube is just feeding whatever you hate. Like this like, like just feed you that. Like yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, we hate them too. Yeah. You know, I feel like that's a lot of that. Again, I and you you you've watched their content a lot more than I have. I I watched most of it on my way here. Mm. granted but like i hear people talking a lot of shit about them on the internet and like i i i I listen to some of it i listen to some of it and like it just seemed very like high schooly like oh never never buy a chick uh flowers never do that shit that's simping or like oh don't like you know i mean like uh never never like the chick like don't let don't let a chick know that you like her that much Ugh, like girls have cootie. I feel like it's like it's like along that line of thinking. It's like because uh, like a, a real. I feel like a, a woman that's really worth her salt, like worth your time, would see through a lot of the shit that they say. They're like, oh, you're you're like trying to play a game with me. It's like, oh no, like I I'm I'm an adult. I don't do this. <laughs> I will leave you. That's true. That's true. Yeah. On a on a on a deeper thing, do you think like well, two part question because. Like you said, uh, if, if if they're talking about uh, people, uh, guys on the internet that can't get chicks yeah. or guys that hate women, if they're talking to that person and they have 600,000 followers, yeah. do you think that that's a pro? Like, don't you see, see that there's some truth? Oh, like, as far uh, as, like, the average guy today, because we just touched yeah. on it, these guys today are different. Like, guys today... Like it's, it's 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 almost normal. Like the average guy today are the incel. The average guy is an incel. The average guys today, That's like, like not a lot. <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> like the average guy, they're not go getters like you going out doing comedy, practicing, performing stand up comedy, trying to get your bag right. They're not. They're in the crib, on the sites, virgins until they're thirty. Like you think these that's guys, really the average guy. Is is definitely as. More so than before. Most it's a, definitely. It's a bigger number than it was before. I don't think it's the average guy. I feel the average guy is not a virgin. The average guy is like we talked about with the alphas and betas. The average guy are the lower level guys. They, may, they might not be getting. Yeah, yeah. But they're still not virgins. Like they're having sex. They're, they're having. It's like. It's, they're, yeah, it's like that. But like the. Like. Like. um, There's a. I don't know if you heard of the, the chart. It's like. uh. 80% of, of women go for the top yeah, 20% yeah. of guys. Yeah, yeah. So that everybody else, they are just getting a scraps. pick out of scraps. <laughs> scraps. Scraps. A little. Yeah. So with that being said, my question is, like, don't you see what they're doing? Like, the, the truth in what they're saying? Yeah, that's what that I'm saying. Aspect? I'm saying it's half true. Like, it's true enough is it half to true? keep you. Like, here, the reason why they're successful, by the way, is not made because they're, like, doing s- – something my father told me like a very long time ago when i was like a child Whoa. he's like the easiest way to make money in life is bring men and women together on something let them have if you have men and women like seeking each other in some kind of capacity yeah it, it'll it'll bring you money okay it's like it's like it's like a it's like uh like not i'm not surprised that a show that has a bunch of women from like a miami club and a bunch of dudes talking shit yeah. Is doing well. Like I'm not. 
I'm I not think surprised by. That I actually at think all. if they didn't have that late night show, I still think they'll be successful. Not nearly as success, successful. I still it wouldn't be that. They have mu- men and women together. That's 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 the that's the the sauce. No, I don't. I, I wouldn't. I, I don't think it would be um, that far off because they still they still um, do podcasts every day. Yeah, and they have a different topic every day, and they have a guest every day. And okay, they do some solid. some days they do like two or even three live podcasts. That's okay. something different. Not even Joe Rogan does live podcasts. Yeah, okay. So like I I feel like if you if you bring in like they they do the the, the podcast where they interview like people like they interview uh celebrities or internet celebrities or YouTube celebrities. Oh yeah. Yeah, they interviewed Kodak Black. They interview uh, uh other guys. It's just like uh like I guess now that they have more exposure, they have the ability to do this. Yeah, they have the yeah, exposure, yeah. but they just they they I feel like they work so they work hard. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it absolutely. The success would have came yeah. regardless. You know? Oh, like they're just hardworking guys. They're hardworking guys. They they might have polarizing like that well polarizing. Yeah, I think some, just the yeah, like they're, they're they're smart guys. I have it like clearly. Like if, if you're gonna have a, a thing where your thing is about like the opposite sex and getting them, yeah, that's a money maker, man. That's a money machine. That's a money machine. Yeah, but there's dude. a lot of people that. Like, to your point, everybody just thinks about s- sex. <laughs> like, yeah. like yeah, like everything's about that shit. But so a lot of people surprised. are trying to be dating coaches, and not all of them are successful. No, yeah, like they're doing it right. Yeah, like clearly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm just still on that point, or like half true. Doing I it think, successfully. I, I think say. what they talk about is is more true than. Do you really believe before. like that kind of shit though? Like you should never buy a chick flowers or something. I think it depends. It oh, that's depends crazy. On it. I think it depends on it. I think it, you know what I think it is. I think today's age, like I said, the average guy is so such an incel that yeah. that incel shouldn't. That <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying. It's so bad. I like that. I it's so like that. bad. <laughs> you should not. Yeah, it's you so should bad <laughs> that that would be the worst yeah, advice to yeah, give somebody. That would be bad advice to give. Yeah, okay. Because he's so down in the dumps and he's such simping. The way he even right, looks like, at a girl is like so desperate <laughs> that they can't. he can't give that advice yeah. to that man. Like I they, they, with they, that. they, they, I yeah. don't know. Guys are spending money. I, I don't know if you saw it. There's like a guy. Fans. Like Not even OnlyFans, everything. Like, there's a guy, oh, damn, there's a guy, he's a YouTuber. He has a podcast where he interviews, like, people. He interviews, like, uh, cel- like pimps, prostitutes, all of that. Like, people I think I've that, seen that. Face tattoos, yeah, think, people with crazy face that. tattoos. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he just interviewed a girl, I forgot her name, but she interviewed this girl. I don't know what her name was. Bro, that that. That girl went viral, and then there was mad people giving because he has a GoFundMe for the channel. Okay. Just for the channel, guys, a bunch of guys throwing money just to for that girl, and they want her to know that it's from them, like simping for she, that girl. She, what is she like a cam girl? She was a pro, she was a pro, she's like, oh, she's a prostitute. Like, oh. oh. Yeah, she's a prostitute. Like she's she has a fast face tattoos. Uh. Young girl, blonde, oh. whatever. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Soft white underbelly. Yeah, there it is. That, that's the channel. Soft white. Shout out to Soft white Soft underbelly. Soft white underbelly. But yeah, this girl went on there and the mad sims like, oh, can you tell her it's from me? I sent this all this yeah, money. But that's yeah, on a regular yeah, basis yeah. now. <laughs> that's on a regular basis, by guys. The way, can we just... all agree that simping is hilarious? By the way, like, let's not get rid of that. That's funny. The harsh truth is that they're it's so funny. It's funny, but the, the harsh truth is that they're serious and they really want it. Yeah, they that's, desperately that's want funny it. Funny as shit. So now, if a chick can sell her underwear and be like a multi-millionaire, that's funny. The girl selling farts. Yeah, sell her fart in her jar. That's yeah, dude, hilarious. Keep doing that. Please. So with that being said, what do you think about that and that information and fresh and what fresh and fit are doing? They're fucking. They're saving lives. I guess yeah, like well, they're the like the antithesis to that type of behavior. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, fine, yeah, they 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 definitely have found their lane. I'm not I'm not mad at their hustle. I just don't. I guess I don't feel like I need to listen to that shit. Maybe that's why I don't. I feel like I feel like you don't need to listen to that shit. No. I think a certain type of person needs to listen to that shit, and it's definitely not us. It's not you. I think that they don't. For for their defense, because I am uh, defending them right now, I feel like they don't just. It's not just the dating stuff that they talk about. They do talk about 
uh, getting your credit score up, like uh, entrepreneurship, working oh, yeah. hard. Yeah, build, okay. building right. yourself up. Okay. They even talk, he even explains the podcast and so what kind of cameras he's using and all of that. Okay, that's solid. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah. That's and solid. then they have like different topics every day. They got like uh, Money Wednesdays and a blah, 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 Entrepreneurship Wednesday. Tuesday, something like that. It's like, so it's like, like they're like core like uh mission is to like just like empower dudes yeah that's their goal like to just uh yeah. just like you know to yeah like dudes are them. weak it's not like the, it's not so like jordan weak. peterson is like a thing because dudes are weak dudes are so weak dude i'm a weak dude though i'm a it's weak just... I, I like being weak well you're weak but you're not weak you're weak physically but you're not weak mentally i'm actually pretty fucking strong i'm i'm weak in here no, no, I'm stronger you're, than I look. No. <laughs> I you're like you're you. strong mentally. You're very strong mentally. Not, Come on, I don't think I'm strong. he's doing stand up comedy every night in New York City. Come on, now. yeah, a lot of people do that. It's not no, 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 bravery no, no. to do that. By you the can way. see somebody in the eyes if they're weak or not. You could look in somebody's eyes. I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm weak, <laughs> or like uh, oh, okay, uh, this 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 might throw you for a loop. Uh, no, no YouTube trigger words. Okay, I'll I'll use my words. <laughs> carefully i once i really liked this girl okay and uh, uh we wanted to like m like mix things up and it got like really like i was wearing her panties like girl panties oh man i was getting whipped i was i was uh like i was calling her like mistress like she was my fuck like she dominated me and I was like, I was like, I was so hot. <laughs> Don't let Fresh and Fit hear this, man. Fresh and Fit gonna Fresh get and at fit. you. Fresh and Fit gonna yeah. So like, roast I mean, you. I'm saying like, I, I have enough like uh, comfort in myself to enjoy something like that. Mm. All right. So this is what Fresh and Fit. I'm, I'm gonna respond from Fresh and Fit's point of view. Do you think that afterwards, mm -hmm. her respect for you went up? Or then it did it go down? She loved it. No, after I'm asking you, afterward, after that whole debacle, after everything was done, like yeah. the next day and beyond, do you think it was it went up or did it go down? Did it remain the same? I think we bonded like more than we ever did. So you guys were having the Yeah, stuff? we enjoyed that experience so much that we kept doing it. Oh yeah? Yeah. It was so mm. fun and immersive. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because what Fresh and Fit would say, basically, or what, even what I would kind of say is that I I feel like <laughs> they probably wouldn't they they would they would say that they like it, but afterwards they wouldn't respect you as much, you know. Like they'll say that they like you know how a girl just says oh, I just want a nice guy and then you're nice and then they were like no. It's like in that. that I feel like that one is just it's just such a, like a, it's just like a. Because you're not just having – it's like sex, which is already a fun activity, plus all these other fun aspects to it. It just made the whole experience very, like, really enjoyable. I think uh, – yeah, like, uh, I think we bonded more than we uh, – the, the level we came to as far as, like, comfort with each other, mm. like, physically, we got there faster than if we, we never had done that. Mm. Yeah. I guess maybe like your confidence probably didn't take a toll. Like you didn't feel like you was doing it. You didn't feel like you was doing that for uh, her. You did it. You was doing it for you, basically. I think that whole thing is only for the dude. It's only for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if you did that for her, it would have been a different. Like it would have been a different thing. Like, like if she wanted me to like do that to her. Like if she told you, "Hey, can you wear my drawers?" and you'd be like, oh, "Okay," that would have been a different topic it would have been a different outcome well no she had she had to be dominant mm. like she can't she can't be like do you wanna put on my panties that's not hot oh so she was like the dominant hey, yeah put on my fucking panties you oh bitch. that's oh that's how she was <laughs> yeah saying? i was like oh my god <laughs> oh wow yeah See, yeah. Fresh and Fit would tell you not even to mess with these <laughs> girls. Like, where did you find these girls, man? Where the hell did you find these no, girls? They're around. Oh, they God. exist. They're around. Damn. They're around. They're around. Man. Yeah, that's, and that, that, that's the thing, too. Is like, I I actually enjoy that kind of stuff, but I also, like, I'm what you call, like, a switch. Like, I can switch. I can do the opposite, but mm -hmm. I enjoy that aspect, too. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. What? Like, liking that. 
there's nothing wrong with it, but it, you, uh, I think there's wrong with telling people that. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's like, you ever heard of that saying, like, uh, never be yourself around people? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. that. I feel like he's like, yeah, you know, yeah, like anime, but I'm not going to I'm not going to go around telling people in the street. I love anime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not going to broadcast it to the world. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I want I want a certain type of respect from people that. Uh, that oh, they I, I mean, get. I don't really give a shit about this, though. Like, it's, it was fun. Like, I'm not I'm not I don't even I don't find it embarrassing that I I did that. I'm like, I, I kind of feel like. Uh, I feel like I, I'm onto something that pe- other dudes aren't onto. Like what? Like that experience. I like just letting myself do that. Mm. Like, oh, look at me. Look at what I just discovered. Did you? <laughs> did you? Did you discover it? But yeah, it sounds like, like oh, she forced you to do that? it. Oh, I always had an inkling. For, I, that's not the first time that's happened to me. I've had like uh, less intense versions of that. So I've always kind of liked that kind of stuff. But I, I. I'd never pursued it earlier because of the, uh, like, I thought, like, men men don't do this. This is so unmanly. This is so, like, uh, degrading. This is so, like, like you know, sh- like, this is, this is not something a man should do. That's, that's what I thought. So I, I was kind of, like, ashamed of even entertaining that thought. But then once I, like got over that and enjoyed it i'm like oh thank god i did that that was amazing that was so fun i'm happy i did that mm. yeah well i guess you must be like a like a unicorn an anomaly because telling you fresh and fit wouldn't like agree with that and i i personally wouldn't recommend anyone to do this <laughs> any guy to do <laughs> well this. like whatever gets your rocks off get your <laughs> rocks off dude no, we actually teach guys not to do that. Oh. <laughs> semen oh, retention. Oh, all right, never mind that. Semen, never, uh, this is a good uh, transition to semen that. retention. What are your thoughts on semen retention? Because semen retention is is, is, is is the practice of ab- abstaining from, you know. The but good you can still stuff. have sex, right? You could, you but it's not really is 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 not really the full like benefit. Like you could halfway step your way in it, but. They you rec- they recommend you f- to really abstain, not to deal. For with how it. long? Uh, I mean, it depending on where you at. Like, if you never did it before, do you know, you start off with thirty days, and if you did thirty days, you could you could challenge yourself to do two years, two months, and then you keep going. You keep trying to challenge yourself, like uh, the goal is like as uh, long as you can. And during that time. You know, you 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 know, you you eating healthy foods. You're working out. You practice. You're working on yourself. Type thing. It's sort of supposed to be like a it's like, like no fap. Well, no fap is just just related to not whacking it. Oh, uh, okay. But this is just all around. This no, is no no yeah. This is no no ejaculation. No whatsoever. yeah no ejaculate whatsoever. And you know, no even teasing it. No no like like mm, you know what I'm saying. No okay. like you know. With yeah, a girl rolling that. around. Yeah, for like a long time. It's yeah, like I a d- year. No? I did it for a year. Yeah, 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 I did it for a year. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? I mean, yeah, I don't, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a challenge. So I'm sure it's something that's very difficult to do. So I'm hoping that it brings an equal or better reward to not doing it. I've never gone. I I, I, I don't think that's physically possible. Well, I shouldn't say that. I. It'd be very hard for me to not to, to, to do it for a year. I should say that. Mm-hmm. But I've gone like I've probably gone like I've gone a month uh, in my life without doing that. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think I think it starts in the mind. I think uh, like if you ask me to do this, uh, f- uh, maybe four years ago, three years ago, it mm-hmm. would be tough for me to even think about doing this. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think what like like the mindset. Is, is very important with doing it. Yeah. Because if you really don't believe that that is, is if it sounds crazy to you in your head, then it probably is, is going to be tough for you to actually pull through. And right. Do, right. You know, but if you if it sounds like somewhat normal, because I mean, I follow a few people that actually did it. Mm hmm. So by following a couple of people and seeing their experience, I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I could do it. You know what I'm saying? So what is the benefit? Like it just makes you like gives you more energy or something. Me personally, speaking on my benefit, I think is like uh, you get to um, 
be able to be functional without thinking about that if that makes sense you don't you don't have you it could, doesn't occupy your mind exactly it's, okay. it's like you could function a life without because a guy thinks about this 24 7 the, the i didn't SCF. know that's a fact do you really think about sex that often Guys, guys, on average. Dude, I don't think about sex that much. Bro, you got to think about the average guy. Average you don't guy? think the average guy? I feel like I'm I, Bro. No, I'm not an average guy. Uh, I, I don't know. They said every seven seconds or something you think about sex. That seems absurd. What do you think people go on the internet for? The the the, the sites are the most popular sites on the internet. Every people are not on Instagram. Seven they, seconds you want to... You're thinking about sex? I don't know about seconds, but guys think about it 24-7. I think about sex when I'm bored. All right, so I need you to I need you to stop thinking about yourself right now and put yourself in <laughs> a, a regular guy's shoes. Because really, apparently you're just like a really, comedy robot. You just guys just thinks about comedy. Not comedy, <laughs> just like I don't know. Like it's it's like what time is it right now? It's like 3 30. Okay, this we're talking about. We're having a conversation about women. But, like, normally on a 3.30 on a Sunday, I'm not thinking about sex. It's God's day. God damn it. Bro, even when I was on semen retention for the year, every single <laughs> day, I was thinking about that joke. Really? Yes, yeah, man. Maybe, I'm a guy, I'm man. gay or something. I don't know, bro. Yeah, man. You think about it all the time, you know? And you know what's funny about it is that it's, it's all in your head because it really is a fantasy. If what you is? really think it just... Just the courting and having, you know, something experienced, like the experience you had with that girl. Yeah. It's a fantasy in your mind. And if you take away that fantasy, what do you have? You don't have nothing. Okay. Because you cre- the guy creates that fantasy, and then he, that's the, the, the testosterone, and he goes out to go to for whatever he's going. To seek that fantasy. Yeah, it's yeah. like trying to whack off. You ever try to whack off and not imagine something in your head? Just oh, look no. at the wall? No. It's the fantasy, man. Yeah. It's the fantasy. It's all in the mind, man. Yeah, okay, yeah. So with the semen retention, it, it, it like it helps you move through the world regular, like a regular guy, not thinking about it. You know, you're like a little boy. You ever remember when you was a little kid playing in the sand? Oh, like, like, like it gives you like, it, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah all like right. child, like you're a child. Like you, you before you started liking girls. Mm. Like you was I, just into have toys. You ever, have you ever fat? I, 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 I was always into chicks. <laughs> but you know, he was always into I girls, always into but he man. he doesn't think about. I don't think about. Ex. I don't like. I've always like at all. That's crazy. Was it for, like I, I remember having like full on erections like way before puberty. But you don't. Think I got about touched it. as a kid though <laughs> by a woman. I'm not gay. They're gonna but, yeah. <laughs> you in the comment <laughs> section. But yeah, well, like, I've been get him. <laughs> I, I, I've I've always. Always found it like I've always loved breasts. Like always, like, like yeah. But, but you don't think about it. Not all. Not every seven seconds. I need you to God think damn. about. I need you to think about <laughs> the average guy because I feel like I'm a pretty horny guy too. Maybe not anymore, but like back then, definitely. And I didn't. I don't think I was thinking about sex every seven seconds. So with today's age, because this is why semen retention and no fap is so popular, because the guys on the sites is like it's too much. I feel like twenty years ago when there was no, yeah, this. I don't think no fap would be that popular. No, semen retention, absolutely not. Because the access we got. So yeah. like with that being said, what do you think about today the the semen retention and the no fap, and you know how do you think any there's any benefits to like that today? For the guy, for a guy to practice. Well, like I believe in like moderation. So if okay. you if you if you have a porn problem, if you have a, a problem with that stuff, or like, yeah, like if you're like masturbating like multiple times in a day, mm-hmm. yeah, like you should probably try to remedy that. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. It's like a yeah, you're 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 depleting yourself. That shit's good for you. Keep it in there. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, and did you notice too? Like, if you, I noticed if I haven't had sex for like a couple of weeks, I feel like I have a little bit more like energy. Yeah. A little spunk. Mm. So that's what they're saying too. Yeah. So you, on the same retention, you get energy so you could yeah. conquer your goals and stuff. Yeah. Do you believe in that? I bet. I bet that's true. Cause yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> have you ever fasted? What, not eat? Yeah, not eat. For one day, yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah. Did it feel the same way where you like you you just had like a clear mind? You weren't really 
concerned about like sex or women or anything like that. Yeah, you was thinking about the next meal. <laughs> oh, really? No, no. You know, I, 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 I haven't fasted in years, but I used to do it a lot, and uh, yeah, I'd go like a full twenty four hours without eating, and like, I, like I just felt like I felt like a different person. Mm. I felt like I felt like Neo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everything oh. just seemed so like calm. Mm. Yeah, like I really, like I could like. I was very present. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, look at that fly flying. Like, oh, wow. Look at that. Just very, like, present. Yeah, that was cool. And I didn't think, I didn't, I definitely was not feeling horny. I was, I felt like, I felt like enlightened. Oh, yeah. Like a very light version of that. Yeah. Okay. 